Wolves are the most untamable and unyielding animals in the world. They are very intelligent and patient hunters. An example of this is when they strangle a severely wounded partner in the gang to prevent him from suffering and being captured by the enemy. Yes, you guessed it. Today's video is about wolves. A small note before we start our video. You can support us by liking our video for more videos like this. Thank you all in advance. Wolves are intelligent as well as strong and resilient predators. They mostly live in groups. The best time to hunt is at midnight. The average life expectancy is six to eight years. Their average height is around 81 centimeters and they can weigh up to 80 kilograms for males and 55 kilograms for females. How strong are the jaws of wolves? The average jaw strength is 240 kilograms. But in battle and when they are in danger, the power of this jaw can reach 544 kilograms. That's why wolves can easily kill an opponent during a fight. As a result of recent research, wolves confirmed as ancestors of dogs. They have a much stronger sense of smell than dogs. Their necks are thick and strong. This is why it is very difficult for dogs to bite their necks when fighting with dogs. Wolves are closer to the ground than dogs and are stronger than dogs. Their heads are bigger than their bodies and they are more resistant to cold than dogs. They also have special traps for dogs. Dogs trapped in these traps have little chance of survival. To remove odors and stains, they walk against the wind. But dogs like Kangal and Alibe can smell everything. According to some sources, Kangals were the first dog breeds to evolve from wolves. That's why Kangals know the weaknesses of Cooters, and Cooters know the weaknesses of Kangals. In fights between them, sometimes the Kangals win and sometimes the Cooters win. But in one-on-one -on -one battles, no dog can ever beat an alpha wolf. Now we will tell you some incredible facts about the life of Cooters. Why does the leader of the Cooter walk from behind? Have you ever thought about that? This picture was taken and researched by the BBC. Here on a winter's day, we can see a pack of wild wolves walking in the snow. The first three wolves are old and weak. These three wolves set the pace of the pack. If it were the other way around, they would fall behind and leave the pack. The next five wolves are slightly stronger than them. And the rest are wolves of normal strength. The last five wolves are the strongest of the group. The biggest wolf in the group at the back is the alpha wolf. The alpha in the group is at the back and controls everything. In a wolf pack, the strongest male and female alpha wolves can mate and give birth. The rest have no right to breed or mate. This ensures that only the strongest and purest wolves are born into the pack. These alphas are the bosses, and there is almost no fighting for leadership between them, because they live like a family, not a tribe. Some wolf species can kill themselves if caught. That's when a wolf feels it can't escape. And when desperate, it tears itself to pieces and kills. They only hunt what they can eat. And most importantly, they don't usually attack young animals. Like humans, wolves live with their own pair for the rest of their lives. A wolf that has lost its female commits suicide and can kill itself. She-wolves. They don't mate with anyone but their own mate until the mate dies. And if necessary, they can dismember the genitalia. Hence, the mating of wolves and dogs is very difficult.